company called Padmate, or more like um, Pamu now, kindly sent me the uh, Pamu Z1 Pro model here. And um, before we get into all the details, I remember reviewing Pamu Nano model, which was really impressive the way how it was designed. It fit really well into your ears and also the wireless charging as well. So it had a lot of interesting, unique uh, features that I really like. And the sound quality was excellent, but unfortunately at the time I did not have Brav with me, who is technically a uh, binaural testing device. So I couldn't really show you how good the sound qualities are, but this time we're different. We actually do have Brav with us. And also what I'm gonna do on this video is that uh, do a sound comparison against the Sony XM4, which is considered to be one of the best in the actual industry, earbuds industry. So I'm really excited to see how good it is because apparently it has a lot of good reviews. Uh, don't forget this Pamu Nano Z1 is a pro model, not the normal or light model if you see what I mean. So I would expect this to be a really much better sound quality that not a lot of a lot of people seems to be reviewed on YouTube so far. Um, but before we get into that, I was really impressed with the actual document here, which is the certification of a sales transport goods. So it has, seems to have a lot of uh, details. So probably they must have gone through a lot of things to submit this. And um, it's quite impressive indeed with the document side as well. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Take this out. Pretty straightforward. So the Pamu Z1 Pro and slides out. Voila! We got the actual good here and the green color that I asked for, which is really nice standing out, unique color. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> Brazilian style, baby. What's inside here? We'll find out. Okay, inside it, we got another tiny box. Ah, nice pouch which says PAM on it, short USB cable, C that is, USB-C, quick practice, it's like a quick card, isn't it? Left here and all the descriptions of how it works and more like the diagrammatical kind of explanation here with another card and also you could get the PAMO app which we're gonna, we're gonna try on later on. Quick instruction manual, please do check it out. And then pull out and look at that, that's quite sweet, isn't it? So, we get different size and it's not really completely rounded. All right, so the actual charging case itself is, there's a bit of a weight, I like that. Uh, comparing to Sony XM4, you can see, wow, look at that. Um, XM4 earbuds, as you know, I really hate the fact that it's, this is wobbly and have a bit of a gap. This one is quite tightly sealed and quite firm as well, which is good. I just love that yellowy color. Again, kind of get this feel of the Brazilian kind of um, national team. Um, and then we got the actual cover that I could take it out. So this I presume is for preventing it to be charged. But once we take it out, that's how it looks. So this is an ANC model. So I presume that will help it out to do the ANC um, charging bits. And there seems to be, or well, maybe that's a sensor but there are two holes here. So we'll find out what it does. And also another one is here as well. So this typical should be a, a sign of an active noise cancellation function on it for the earbuds. And um, that's pretty much how it looks like on the actual earbuds itself and good quality, should we say. Yeah, the shiny bit, I like that. And also the weight as well. So very promising indeed. And we got the actual light showing that it's charging. Well done. So before we get into sound testing, I just want to highlight this app from Pamu. And um, on the app, you can actually turn on the ANC or not, um, or you can actually transfer back to transparency. There's mode A and mode B, as you can see. And the EQ sound effect, you can actually choose three different things. For example, you could go for pop, normal, or jazz. Now, one thing I do want to highlight, obviously you can change the language on the beeps, but there is a game mode of the latency. So at the moment it's closed. So I presume that's going to be the same as how normal earbuds a latency would be, or you could go for lo low latency and ultra low latency. In other words, that's going to be quicker than the normal earbuds for the game mode purpose. That's something I wasn't aware, of, but that does make a lot of sense. So this is a perfect, um, fit for the gaming earbud as well, which is very impressive. Now, finally on the sound test, I'm gonna use Pamu Z1 Pro 
on my brow here which is a binaural sound test device and then i'm going to compare it with sony xm4 by using this brilliant soundtrack called juice by two backer so let's get on to the test <laughs> So I'm gonna carry out a personal test of my own other than my bruv here. So on the right hand side, I got the Pamu uh, Z1 Pro. On the left hand side, I got the Sony XM4 earbuds and they're both simultaneously connected to my Samsung C4 III and we're gonna to listen to the same track. So here it goes. Right, so this is something I prefer which is kind of like a surprise for me that um, just so you know Sony XM4 is the one of the most sharpest um, treble sounds that I got which I prefer and PAMU is on the pop EQ sound system and it's sharper that's amazing so that means that if you're listening to someone's voice on the YouTube PAMU will sound clearer the beat is pretty much the same Okay, that's very interesting. 
There's more power for hammer as well. And this is technically 129 uh, US dollars, 29.99. And this is about 250 US dollars. Obviously the software itself with the Pamu is not as good as Sony XM4, but the default sounds, Pamu seems to be better than Sony XM4. And I'm starting to get more and more of these sort of outcomes with my personal sound test. It's quite interesting. So this is the voice recording by using the mic of Pamu Z1 Pro. So I already tested and then listened to it, but as you can now hear now, it's pretty impressive. Very strong, I would say. And maybe for the video editing, I might have to lower uh, the treble sound a bit than the actual default standard sound because the actual sound quality is a bit loud and clear and direct. So the overall impression on the Pamu Z1 Pro uh, charging case is that you can already see the way how it's cut. It's much tighter and well uh, sealed comparing to Sony XM4 and I'll, I'll actually show you how it looks like and you can easily tell. Now the weight itself, uh, there's a bit of a weight which always means that it, there's a quality behind it and um, also it's more compact than Sony XM4 and I just love the green color and when you open up it's like the yellow which is like the Brazilian football national team kind of feel which is really good and it actually stands out. But overall it's about the sound quality and as you know, I have already done a lot of uh, budget earbuds uh, like tests and also the headphones uh, mainly from China and uh, more and more I do the tests against one of the flagship headphones and the earbuds like Sony XM4 is that they're easily catching up with the way cheaper price. How could it be? What is the secret behind it? How did they manage to do it? And this is a really really good marking selling point about these affordable um, earbuds. But Pamu Nano comparing to the other budgeted earbuds is slightly more expensive. This is about $129.99 US dollars and now it's in a discount of 30 US dollars. But overall the sound quality of my personal experience is that it, the treble sound is much clearer. It's actually central focus and it's more directly t uh, talking to you, especially when you listen to someone um, on, talking on the video uh, clip. And the actual beat itself is in the same level. So the sound quality, the default sound quality of Pamu Z1 Pro, it's better than Sony XM4, despite it's being half price of Sony XM4. That does tell something. This is an alarming sound for a company like uh, Sony XM4 Sony, uh, who produced so far the flagship um, earbuds of earbuds and headphones because these Chinese products um, are really catching up and they gotta be aware of how they can improve it. Obviously there's a bit more quality on the actual earbuds itself, but it all comes down to the sound. And I know a lot of you are gonna argue that the Sony XM4, you got so many different options on the software and so on. Believe me, I have actually been trying a lot of this like um, editing on the treble and also on the uh, bass and so on. But the default sound, even Pam Nano itself has an app that you could easily change it, but most of them seems to be better. And also one of the things that stands out about the um, Pamu Z1 Pro is that uh, you can actually make the latency quicker than the default of the Sony XM4 uh, because this is also designed for gaming as well. So you could quick, more, you could actually react much quicker um, than the um, other earbuds when you actually play a game as well. So this is another uh, example showing that you don't really need to get a flagship earbuds to be able to listen to really good sound. This, people, is probably, I can easily say, one of the best earbuds, surprisingly, that I um, ever heard so far. And um, it's something that, again, we need to think about. What is the main point that you actually buy? Is it about the quality and overall feel? But are you willing to sacrifice with the less of a better sound quality of Sony XM4? Or are you willing to um, bite the bullet and not use one of the flagship brand, but something that is upcoming like Pamu that sounds much better as your standard earbuds? And <laughs> it's all I could say is well done Pamu or Padmate. And you have proven to me this time again of my theory that Chinese uh, earbuds companies are really 
quickly catching up. So be aware people, uh, not all flagship earbuds like Sony XM4 is the best that you can hear. It just gives you this sort of like feel that you could customize it, but really carefully if you listen to it, you know in fact much less of a price of an earbuds like such sounds much better indeed. So I hope this gives you a really good input on the current situation with the earbud industry. But if you have any grunge or disagreement against me, please do comment below. If you have any queries, please do comment below. I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.